In a previous video, I covered the low-stress way to get on and off the Halifax Peninsula by bike. Due to construction relating to improvements in this connection's bike infrastructure happening in late summer and into the fall of 2022, that route is now closed. In today's video, I'll describe the improvements being made and some possible detours to help you get you to your destination. The first improvement being made is the addition of a short multi-use path between Pennington and Ralston along Highway 102. This section of the route is currently a sidewalk which requires anyone moving through the area on a bike to dismount and walk for several minutes. The multi-use path will not cover the rail cut crossing or connect Bears Road multi-use path to the rest of the network, but it will shorten the walking distance somewhat. This means that people commuting by bike will still be walking for the foreseeable future. Given that the city has bothered to invest in this section of the route, it might be taken as a hopeful sign that infrastructure to cover the remainder of the space, either in the form of improvements to the existing crossing or a separate active transport crossing, might be in the cards, but I don't think anything has been announced to date. At the intersection of Highway 102 and Joe Howe Drive itself, a number of infrastructure improvements are being added. The first is a ramp, which will remove the harsh grade difference between Elliott Street and Joe Howe, as well as remove the need to dismount on a sidewalk. Second, cross rides will be added to the intersection, again meaning that cyclists will not need to dismount while crossing. Lastly, the refuge island will be vastly increased in size, reflecting the high volumes of pedestrian and bike traffic interacting with fast-moving motor vehicle traffic at this intersection. All this should make getting through one of the most important intersections for bike commuters in the city much easier and convenient. That being said, the intersection is not currently accessible due to construction. So how are you supposed to access the Chain of Lakes Trail? Well, currently, this connection would serve both those heading south towards Spryfield, as well as those heading north towards Fairview and the rest of the mainland. However, with the closure of the crossing, these two destinations now have separate detours. To connect to Colt heading south, you will now take the left on Ashburn instead of the usual right to connect to Elliott. Take the right onto Mumford and continue to Joe Howe Drive. A fun quirk of this intersection at Mumford and Joe Howe is that the sensors actually don't detect your bike, and so the lights will never actually change no matter how long you sit there waiting for them. In the event that you're at this intersection with no car traffic present, you will need to dismount and press the beg button to cross at the crosswalk. Continue along Joe Howe until the first turn off, which is Springvale. Once you go up Springvale, you'll be able to connect to the Chain of Lakes Trail uh, as you would have normally. If heading north, the Colt is probably not particularly useful to you during construction. As such, you may find crossing Bears Road at Romans towards the end of the multi-use path to be more useful. You can then continue down Bears Road to Joe Howe through the intersection and then navigate to wherever your destination is, either via local streets or Dutch Hill Road. On the return trip, you can travel back through the same intersection and take a right onto Ashburn. This will allow you to connect either to the Bears Road multi-use path or to Mumford Road based on your tolerance for traffic stress or having to walk your bike. That's it for this video. Until next time, ride safe.